Do 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 do. Tech by Tips. Welcome to another Tech by Tips video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about using the Plex Media Server app, how to set it up, how to configure it, how to test it, and consume all the content that we have been acquiring using the other applications that we have set up. Uh, this is going to be a short one. I'm going to cover, uh, there's going to be three possible ways for you to install Plex in a Synology NAS, but I'm going to cover two of those because I honestly think the third option is not really necessary when you have such an easy way to install the application in a Synology NAS. So thank you for being here. I want to thank uh, Shad Wolf for a donation uh, that was received in the channel. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it very much. Remember, if you like the content, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And in the comment section below, feel free to comment and uh, let me know of topics that you would like to see covered in the channel. And I'll do my best uh, to cover those for you. And uh, I've already seen, received like three um, requests for videos. So they have been added to the backlog of videos. So you'll eventually see them in the channel. Um, so see you on the next one. Let's get to it. All right, on this video, we're going to be talking about the Plex Media Server. This is an application that is used to play the content that we have downloaded in the series. So we have videos for anime, videos for TV shows and videos for movies. And this will be the application that we will be using to actually consume that so that we can have a machine that broadcasts that content into our smart TV or our computer or our tablet. And uh, you can find information about it in github.com and then slash Plex Inc slash PMS dash Docker. That's the Docker version of Plex. And you have find information here about that. But we're going to cover several ways of installing this in our Synology NAS. Uh, we can go with the Docker and we have other options. So let's get into the NAS real quickly and talk about it. So in our NAS, if we go into the package center and we go into the available packages, we should find a package here for Plex. So we can filter here and type Plex and then you can see you have Plex Media Server here. So that's one way you can install Plex in your Synology NAS. Or if, if you have an Xpenology NAS, we can also, you can also do the same thing as it is running the same system. The only thing here is that if we install it here from the package center, we're going to get most likely an older version of Plex. So in here we can see that as of now it's version 1.29.2.6364-7000. But we can get it installed and it'll work fine. So if you're okay with installing an older version sort of and uh, making sure that you know it works pretty smoothly with your Synology NAS without you having to do much, you can just do that. Go into Package Center, look for Plex, and click here where it says Install. So that's one way. The other way we can install Plex into our Synology NAS while still using the Package Center is to get a more recent version of Plex. Like if you're the kind of person that cares about having the latest version of the application, then you would have to go into Plex.tv and then slash media dash server dash downloads. So if you go into Plex, you go into downloads and then select Plex Media Server and that'll take you to this page where you have the option to download. And if you can see here, the latest version that you can get from here is 132.7. So it's newer than this one, 129. So if you want the latest version, you come here, you select here Synology, depending on which version you have. If you have DSM-6 or DSM-7, you pick it and then it'll give you here a way to download. In that case, you would click choose package and then depending on our architecture, like your CPU, usually most people you could just have Intel AMD 64 and then you get a package to download here. So you can download this package and 
you can download this package and then you can use that to install it in the Synology NAS. So let's save that. So if you decide to go that route and install the latest version possible, you would just come here. But instead of searching for Plex here to install it, what you would do is you click where it says manual install. Then you would go into your desktop here and look for that file. And you click open and then it'll do the installation using that file. So let's do that real quick. So you would click on next. And then it says, you know, this is a third party package. Are you sure you want to install it? You say, I agree. And then you leave this as a normal installation. You click next and then you leave the run after install so that it runs automatically after it's done installing and you click done. And then you just let it do its thing. It will open that package and install it in your Synology NAS. In my opinion, the package center way is, is the better way to install uh, Plex in your Synology NAS. Uh, it's super easy to install, super easy to uninstall. You don't have to be putting a lot of things in the Docker configuration, etc. So, it, you know, it, it works very well. So I would recommend you actually do this instead of going with the Docker. And once it says uh, that it's successful, you can click OK. And now it's running, as you can see. So, if you click on the where it says open here, it'll open a new tab on your browser where you will be greeted with the Plex uh, web interface. And in here is where we're gonna set it up. So, so yeah, the other way to install this would be using Docker. Uh, but I'm honestly not going to cover that, and I, as I think it's unnecessary to actually run it in Docker inside uh, a Synology NAS. But be aware that you have that option, and you can go through the guide here in the GitHub page to get it running. I just think it's unnecessary to do it that way. Now, in my case, I have paid for a license of Plex, so it would look different. If I just sign in with my account and get all the uh, stuff configured. But if, let's click here where it says um, use another account. So here would be how it would normally look to you. So you can connect using your Google account or your Facebook account or your Apple account. Or you can actually go and sign up with your email in Plex.tv and create an account for yourself. Which is what I did when I paid for the Plex license. So in this case, um, you pick whichever you want, and then once you do that, you will get to the actual Plex interface that you would use to configure the server. Once you sign in, you get this um, page here that tells you what you can do with Plex, how it works. So basically it tells you that it's a server that runs on a computer where you have all your files and it'll, it'll scan for your media files, it'll organize it and make it look beautiful for you, and then you can use any device to play that content using either the Plex app in your phone or tablet or through the browser in your computer. And then you just click OK, I got it. And then here is where you would start configuring things. So in my case, let's leave this one name as the virtual NAS. And here when with this box that says allow me to access my media outside my home, it allows you to port forward so that Plex.tv has access to your NAS so that if you're outside of your home, you log into Plex.tv with your account and you can view the content outside of your home. It's pretty nice, pretty nifty, but you will probably have to go into your router and do the port forwarding for that to work properly. So if you don't need that, you just uncheck that box and click next. And then here, once we click next, it'll prompt us for the location of our media files. So now in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the add library button. And then here we specify the location of our files. For example, for the movies, we click here movies. We leave it name as movies. We click next. 
and then we browse for the media folder so we would go into our volume one media oh i think i know what the problem is plex doesn't have permission to view the folders maybe so let's check that out go into the shared folder go into media edit permissions we're gonna go here into system internal users and here's the problem you see plex media server was installed but since we installed it using a package instead of the basic way in the package source it doesn't have permissions so we have to make sure that we grant permissions to plex so we're gonna say read only or read write however you want let's make it uh read right just in case so plex now has read write access and it should be able to read the files in our media folder so let's go back into plex again and try that again so browse volume media there we go now we see all this stuff so we're talking about the movies folder so we select movies we see some of the files there we click add and we say add the library so now we have our movies here we go back and click on the add library button again and we select tv shows but we're gonna make something here we're gonna name this one anime because this is the one that contains our anime which is in a separate folder so we click next we go browse volume one we go into media anime and we have our bleach series we click add we click add library and now that's also configured there so now we need to add the tv shows so we click on add library again, TV shows, we leave it name as it is, we click next, browse, volume, one, media, TV, add, we saw Ahsoka, so it's reading that, and add library, so now we have movies, anime, and TV. So let's say we also have music, I don't think I have any music here, but let's pretend I do. Uh, go into music, leave it name like that, next, browse, we're gonna look for volume, media music yeah i don't have anything here but we add that library if we were to have uh, music files in there like artists and stuff then it would also pick it up so we would have a category inside plex for all of the content that we have specified here books they're not consumed by plex so that's not going to be there so ignore that and comics the same thing it's not something that you consume with Plex, so we're not going to create a folder for that either. We're just going to have our media files that are music and movies and TV shows. And now that we have set it up, we can click on next. And then if you need to get the Plex apps for your devices, you can click here. It'll redirect you, but you can always go in your phone and look for Plex or in your computer you don't even need the app you can do it with the browser but you can also get the app from the windows store or the app store and now we click done and by doing that guess what it started scanning our folders as you can see and we can see content in our system this is actually catching stuff that i have in my actual nas so let's ignore that but let's go into our vnas folders and if we go into movies there we go we have the three movies that we said that we were going to download so they're available here as you can see and if you want to see something you can just click here and then you can see the details about it like the information about it the, the rating for the movie you can rate it yourself here uh you know give it the score that you want and you can also make changes here. You can mark it as played or unplayed. You can watch the trailer for the movie and put it in a watch list if you want. You can uh, delete it if you don't want it also. There's, there's a lot of things that you can do within this interface. It gives you a lot of good information. For example, the subtitles that you wanna use. It shows you all the subtitles that you have available. So you can specify what you want to use when you click the play button so oh i'm sorry that was the audio that was not a subtitle so english and subtitles here we can say i don't know english and then when i press the play button it would play the video file using these settings that i specified here and it gives you information about the different 
uh, actors and actresses like the whole cast of the movie you can click on them and it'll give you details about them so it's really cool uh, it tells you which other movies they were in etc so it's, it's really nice um, you can you know get more information see the reviews etc so that's how it goes with movies so let's go into the anime folder for virtual NAS and here we go we have the bleach episodes that we downloaded uh, previously and as you can see it works basically the same thing it gives you a list of all the episodes if you go into library mode here it's it groups into series the content so instead of having a bunch of files like that it says okay here's everything for bleach here's everything for this series and this other series so i like it this way i think it's better there's also categories here so you can do that if you like to browse your content like that but i think library is the best way in in my opinion so then you can click here gives you details about the series in general same thing as we did with the movies before and then if you want to see like the seasons that you have and the episodes it'll give you one card here for each season here we only have season 17 but because that's the only thing we downloaded so if we go here then we see the episodes in the season and you see details again if you click on a specific episode then you're gonna see details about that episode and then you can just play it from there and TV shows works the same way in this case we had Ahsoka so we have all these episodes if we click on library it'll narrow it down to a single folder so it's better and you click inside you see the series information if you click into the seasons you see the episodes for the season and if you click into an episode you see details about the episode and then you can specify things like the subtitle that you want when you play etc in this case for example if you notice the video file only has one audio track so you don't have an option here to pick one but if it had more than one like we saw before then we can pick it in here we have several subtitles so we can pick them just so you know you learn a little bit more about that and yes uh we don't have any music here so it's going to show empty but if we had music then we would uh, let me use my nas we would see a bunch of stuff here so if you have your collection of CDs that you have ripped and you put in a folder, then you will see them all here. You will see all your artists and then you can go inside an artist, for example, let's go into Andrea Bocelli. And then you would see all the different uh, albums that you have. And then if you click on an album, then you'll see all the tracks in that album and it works the same way. It's just that when you play it, it's just going to be music. It's not going to have any video content. So yes that's how you set up plex inside a synology nas i hope you find it useful i hope you find it uh that you like the the content and uh, i'm pretty sure if you're already setting up your system you know the, the other option that you have is uh jellyfin but i mean any of the two is is great plex is the one that i use but jellyfin is also very good so I hope you like it. I'll see you on the next video. Remember, if you like the content, like and subscribe to the channel. Share it with people that you think might find it useful because that helps us grow. And remember, that I do not monetize this channel. Uh, you will not see ads uh, in this channel from YouTube. So if you want to support me, you can always uh, donate on the links in the description below, either with a PayPal donation or with a Bitcoin donation. It will be really appreciated. Thank you, thank you very much for all the people that have donated and see you on the next video.